Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a great Sunday. Well today we're going to be working on, hopefully, Midnight Watch. I'm going to see how this goes. Um, and I also, this is Midnight Watch, I'm sorry, by Blackbird Designs and it's on 28 count Lagana Wheat and I believe I got it from Zweigart. So what I'm going to try to do is use my hang on gotta get the box um use my eyeglasses that i got now i have taken off it came like this like sunglasses you know what do you call it temples there and i took those off and i put the um the strap when you get this it comes in this box. It has a cleaner for the lenses. These are the two extra little things. It also comes with, I don't have it right here, the rechargeable, you know, the cord. And it also comes with the headset. And these just snap on and off, which is a good thing. And it has, its light is right there it's supposed to go up and down it goes up and down it just doesn't work and I've tried to charge it numerous times so I thought well I might as well use it with the lenses lenses you say okay so it came with five lenses and it starts at 1 1.5 2 2.5 and 3.0 wait maybe it's 3.5 I'm sorry I lied I got them all in there backwards. Now I can't see what they are. That's a 3.5. The next one is 2.5. And this one is a 2. This is a 1.5 and a 1. Now I've got them all in there screwed up, but it comes with these five lenses, and you just take one. I'm going to take the one I'm actually going to use. Um, I've looked through them all, and for me, the 1.5 is good for me. Now, I have, uh, what do you call it, uh, trifocals, bifocals, trifocals, and they have, um, what do you call it, um, you know, the, no lines show on the bifocals, so transgressional. Is that the word? Anyway, so I got this fixed so that I can wear my glasses and wear these at the same time. So I'm going to put these on and get it adjusted. And we're going to get this box out of the way. Whatever you do, don't try these up on when you're standing up because standing up is just not good. And it tells you what lenses that you have right here. And there's supposed to be a light, but I have a really good light where I'm trying to figure out where to lay that. I can't hardly get it to lay down. Um, and move that out of my way. So I have to adjust. It moves the lens. Let me get it off of my head first. This lens moves back and forward, and I have to get it adjusted just right so that um, I can see. And you can move it very easily. I w if I'm not recommending this one only because it, the light didn't work and it, the light didn't charge. So if you can find one by somebody else, you know, I think it's well worth your time and effort to uh, work on or work with. But uh, and I haven't used these for any extended period of time, but somebody happened to ask me about these so I thought well we will just just see how they work and how they don't work now let me get my lenses just a minute now I said that was 1.5 now that I sit down it's not coming in too clearly so now, of course, I don't have this up in my face, 
but I put the two on and it seems to be a little bit better. I'm still kind of squinting. I don't know if it's just this thing or not. So let me take this and we're going to move my deal up so that maybe I can see a little bit better. I can actually see the squares. It's just not real clear for me. But maybe that might be my glasses. Um, and the way that they look. You know. With the bifocals and everything. I don't know. This would take a hot moment to uh, actually figure out. I have to get them adjusted just right or I can't even see the squares. So it takes a, a moment, but it, whoops, drop the needle. I'm trying to look underneath them because I'm used to everything being so close. Now the 2.5, I couldn't even see through the 3, but now that I'm sitting down, you know, it might be different. So this is what did I say this was this is a 2 so let's look at 2.5 see if it comes in any clearer snap it in it just snaps right in and if you don't hit it you know it's a little bit different Let me. I had to move the there we go I don't know. Now, if I was sitting down and actually working on this, I would be closer to my work. But 2.5 is the higher it goes, the worse it gets for me. Now, I don't know that that's just me or what. Okay, and I'll put the 3 on. Just, whoops, if I can get it where it needs to be. Oh, yeah, the 3 is not going to work at all. Not with my bifocals. And it's, look how thick it is. Can you see how thick that is? It's pretty thick. Has a little pieces of fuzz. So, I think for what I'm doing, and you have to make sure the lenses, can you see that? Let me put my hand underneath it. They're beveled. So you want the beveled outside to uh, be on the outside of what you're looking through or it really won't work. I'm trying to get my little cleaner. So for, you know, I think I paid under $25, somewhere around there for this, you know, and that wasn't including shipping and all that, but, and it wasn't the most expensive one. It wasn't the cheapest one. So get the rounded side out can you see that uh, it's rounded so we want that on the outside but I'm gonna go with the 1.5 again try to get it in there without getting the crap that is the clearest one for me because like I said I have bifocal so we'll see But I can definitely see the the squares. I wouldn't say that they got huge. And whether or not it would be a good thing for me to have or not. Just, I don't know. I haven't used them enough. But I did want to get them out and show you how they worked for me. So, But... I would go definitely with a different brand. I don't know. I can't remember. I, When I was looking at it, I went with whatever was semi-cheaper. And like I said, most of the pricing on these at Amazon were around the same amount. You know. So I just picked one, basically. But, uh, 
yeah. So I don't know how much I will use them or not. You kind of have to get your head in a weird position. I don't know what that's going to do to my neck, but, you know, it is what it is. And when I'm doing this, I usually don't need the lenses, you know, this up close. My up close is better. Oh, holy cow. So as you see, I got a little bit of snow last night. And, uh, yeah, that was, I don't know if that you heard it, but it was a whole sheaf of snow melting and it fell off like a cornice. It was great. Kaboom. Yeah. So I took pictures last night of it snowing with my night, what do you call it, setting on my phone. And uh, then I got up this morning and took a video of what all the snow looked like. So yeah, it's still like lightly, lightly snowing and it is quiet as a mouse out there. There's just nothing going on. Nobody is going anywhere. And we're supposed to get some more snow today. Said uh, one to three inches. But I'm trying to adjust the, the thing again. Um... I cannot definitely do this without my glasses on. It just won't work. Whoops. So, oops, missed, missed the whole edge. Oh, Lord. Now I got to thread the needle again. I'm using uh, 3371. It's my favorite brown, but it was a called for. I think I went pretty much with the called for colors in this. So far, I've only used what? One. Let's see. One, two, three, three colors. So. So I don't know if these are going to work for me. I'm glad I didn't spend a whole lot of money. I'd be pretty upset if I hadn't spent, you know, if I'd spent all. Oh, Lots of money, and this didn't work. So, I'd be more upset. So, I may or may not buy another set or pair of these. I like the fact of my uh, Ot Light. I don't know what it's called or who made it. I can't remember. Um, I'm getting there. Let me think. I'm trying to figure out. See, I didn't go uh, this way. But I just wanted you to see how I thought that they worked. Piece of thread there. And whether I liked them or not, um, my uh, judgment of them is... For me, they don't work as well as I expected them to work. So I would have thought that they would have, dang it, they would have worked better and differently. So. I'm trying. It does bring it up a little bit closer. But for me, no, I can't get this stitch to save my soul. There's something wrong. Sometimes if I start in the middle, I have a problem with 28 count anyway. We'll get there, guys. We're, we're trying to move on. But for me, it's not worth buying another pair. I'm just not real ecstatic 
about them as far as I'm concerned. I like the other one, the overhead light with the uh, crap. The overhead light with the the magnifying thing. You don't. There's not so much precision. In fact, I don't know how people can use these, but maybe it, it's just my glasses are just messing with me. Because I have a pretty powerful um, prescription. So. And I can see 28 count, but I cannot really um, go with. I don't think anything smaller. So, and these are just, I don't know, it's really, I can't, if I could just get it far enough away, it might work. Let me see some. I gotta loosen up on the, the head strap and move, because it has a nice nose piece. Let me see, where... Hold that thought. I see what I'm doing wrong. Okay, let, let's do this again. I had my glasses off. Let me try. I moved them because I had to... Whoops. I just knocked the thing off. Let's see how that works. Oh, much better. Much better. Okay, now... That was the... The 1.5... Okay, we don't want anything less. We'll go up again. Okay, and this is a two. Maybe it's because I didn't have my glasses on that it was causing it just to be nuts. Oh, hey. Wow. It's like cooking with gas. I'm telling you. Much better. Okay, two's not too bad. I can get it where I need it to be. 2.5 whoops piece of fuzz it's kind of got some static in it oh yeah now we can see so yeah wear your glasses with this but it's still kind of cricky on your neck I don't know if it's just because I'm sitting in this straight chair but it, it's still on the neck so the 2.5 is good got to kind of get it where it needs to be. So I don't know. I, I don't think it, for me it's worth um, going and getting another pair or even sending these back. Somehow I don't think that's right. So, I just wanted to to use this and oh, crap. Ouch. take it off for a minute. It does kind of bear down on you, but the strap really helps, you know, hold it in place. Because I couldn't get my glasses and the, the regular glasses side temple things. Oh, crap. There goes another pile of snow. Hopefully it'll melt off here. I got that too short. But it works better with my glasses on. Oh, for pity's sake. So, I think 1.5 is good for me. Now, it might not be good for you. But, you know, for 20 bucks... You know, I don't know if you get what you paid for. That's not what I'm saying. It's just me, my glasses, and the um, you know, all of it working together. 
is not a good fit for me. So I wouldn't go out and buy another pair. Now I might get used to wearing them. I don't know. You know how you have kind of a learning curve when you get things. So I'll try it off and on. Sometimes I'm on 28 count and sometimes not so much. You know, I just want to stitch on something else. But I do like the Ot Light type setup much better. And it's easier to move it back and forth and up and down away from the um where your the surface where your your uh, stitching. But I thought I'd come on here and show you how that all worked. And just kind of have a little whoops, I missed. Um little discussion about how I liked it, how I didn't like it, and would I recommend it. For me, I wouldn't recommend it, but for you, if you don't have glasses or you need to see closer up, then it, it would probably be perfect for you. You know, and like I said, I've just got to see how it works. Um... You know, like when I'm sitting in my normal stitching spot, so to speak. You know, it, it might be a whole totally different game. But my thought was, if I could use it, I could do 28 count pieces, you know, and show you how I stitch and all that. You know, much better than any other way. So, yeah. So we'll see. We will see. But, like I said, it, it, it wasn't too much of an experiment. I mean, as far as price-wise goes, <coughs> I didn't waste too much um, money for these. So, that's a good thing. Oh, that snow is just falling right off and it's heavy and wet snow heavy and wet snow today I'm trying to get all my lenses back into their little their little hoopty here doesn't want to sit in those little there we go I still missing one. Oh, it's still on the thing but it's got a nice case I guess you paid 20 bucks for the lens case because Everything else seems to be pretty cheap and cheaply made. So, I don't know. And all of them seem to have the same strength of lenses in the kits. So, you know, you're not missing out. Now, you could probably get one that had more lenses on them. This one just came with five. So... It, it's not a great loss for me, but we'll see. They don't want to sit in there. And it's even printed at the bottom. I don't know that you can see that. But it, it says 3.5 and all that. But it does say it at the top of the lens. I guess they got to go this way. Only because the lid won't close. I had them whoops, all turned around. And thought they'd fit better, but that didn't work at all. They fit nice in there, and they're not going anywhere. Oops. Crap. You just got to get it going. Just right. Or the lid won't shut. So, I don't know. This, was, for me, was kind of a bust. But it was a cheap bust. So, not a problem. See, now the lid won't... Well, what is the problem with you? Did I miss you too? Okay. Got to get them all in there right. But it closes and it close, snaps real tight. So you could use that little box for something else. Heck, I could use it as a closable art, art box if I didn't ever want to use the lenses. So, yeah. So be cautionary. Read through the, the descriptions on Amazon. But I won't leave a link for this because 
you messed with me once. You know, not you guys, but the company. They they screwed me over where I didn't have the light. So that got me off on a bad tangent. And then, you know, it's such a nightmare to send it back. It'd be cheaper just to buy one. You know, I just was not happy. So, stuff goes on. But this sure is lovely fabric. I'll say it. It was not a waste. And I've got a, what do you call it? A order for one, two, three stitch. It's just waiting for me to get paid and and do things, but see now that's just too what is going on? So anyway guys, I think that's gonna be about it today. I know. But at least you learned about these um they're called rechargeable LED eyeglasses bracket headband interchangeable magnifier <coughs> and the name of the company is on the thing Yokoto Sun and it didn't take very long to get these at all but you know so if you want to try them out there's 20 bucks you know plus whatever shipping so you see what you think I'd, I'd be interested if anybody else got any more by this company if it would be worth sending it in, not sending it in, but, you know, buying another one so that we'll see if it, I don't know if it's just because I bought an off brand. I don't even remember the other brands, let alone anything else. So, you know, so judge for yourself, but that that's my take on the whole little nightmare. But for me, I'd rather use my Ot Light type thing. I think it's called Bright Tech is who I got that other one from. Oh, well. Why aren't you fitting in there? It doesn't want to... You have to push them down and get it so it'll lock. But we'll fix it later. Whatever. So, yeah. I just wanted you to get my take on it. I know, I've gone over this a hundred times. So for me, I don't know. If I went and got some actual mag eyes, maybe it would work. I don't know. I don't know that it would work. I'm sure the quality of the lenses, if you spent like upwards of 50 bucks, which is what I've seen them at, um, maybe the lens, whoops, sorry, the lens quality would be better. I don't know. I have no idea, but now Deb, and I believe, oh, what is her name? Liz, on Country Stitchers, they both have glasses, I think. Maybe Liz doesn't, but I know Deb does, so I don't know what kind of brand she got. I'd have to go back and look at that, that video of theirs. You know, maybe the lens quality is better, you know, the more money you put into it. I have no idea. But I just thought I'd try it out for 20 bucks. I can throw away 20 bucks. So, all right, guys. That's going to be it for today. I know we didn't stitch much, but I wanted you to see the preview of the, uh, these eyes, you know, and how well they work. And I'm sure everything all works on the same, better principle. But it is heavy construction. I mean, it's not going to bend or snap. You know, it's very well made, this part is. It's just the thing. I opened it up to see if there was like a thing in between. Right here, you open it up. I was looking to see if there was like, you know, how that when you get a battery sometimes and it comes with batteries, you have to take a little tab out. I thought maybe that was why it wasn't... Um, what do you call it? Charging. So, I don't know. We'll see. We will see. So, stay tuned to the continuing saga of if I get another pair. So, we'll see.
All right, guys, thanks for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell, and that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands. God bless, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.